Hi, boys and girls. On Tuesday in class, we introduced simplifying fractions. We did a worksheet called Ready to Reduce. That is another term to refer to simplifying fractions. You may also hear people refer to it as putting fractions into lowest terms. Before we begin, you should make sure you have your graph paper that your math teacher gave you. Make sure your name is at the top. So I'm going to write Miss Driscoll since I'm the person doing the paper. You're going to write your name. And as our title in the middle, you can write simplifying fractions. All right, so let's get started. When simplifying fractions, you want to make sure you find the greatest common factor between the numerator and denominator. So let's get started. Say we have, so I'm going to call this number 1. Say we have 12 eighteenths. The first step in Finding the simplest form is to find the GCF, or the greatest common factor. So I'm going to write down 12 and 18 to find out my greatest common factor. Don't forget about the freebies we talked about in class. How 1 and the number itself are always factors. Then I like to count up. All right, I know that 1 goes into it. Does 2 go into 12? Yes. 2 goes into 12. 2 times 6. Does 3 go into 12? Yes. 3 times 4. All right, and those are my factors for 12. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. I'm going to do the same thing for 18. And remember my freebies, 1 and the number itself are factors. And 2 go into it? Yes. 18 is an even number, so I know 2 is a factor. 2 times 9. Is 3 a factor? Yes. 3 times 6. Is 4 a factor? No. Is 5? No. So now I'm going to look and find my greatest common factor. I noticed that, yes, they both have 1. But if I was to divide both numbers by 1, I would still have 12 18. 2 is a common factor, 3 is a common factor, and 6 is a common factor. So they have many factors in common, but 6 is my greatest one. It is the biggest number they have in common. So I'm going to take that greatest common factor and use it to help reduce my fraction. I remember, boys and girls, when we reduce... The hint there, the number's getting smaller, we're going to divide. Multiplying makes our numerator and denominator bigger, while division makes our numbers smaller. So whatever I do to my numerator, I do to my denominator. So we have 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 18 divided by 6 is 3. You could always go back to your factor rainbow if you get stuck, if you can't think what 18 divided by 6 was. Look back at your factor rainbow, travel back over the rainbow, and see that 6 was paired with 3. 6 was paired with 2, and that's how you get 2 thirds. So that's our final answer. I'm going to circle that. Okay, let's try another one. The next fraction we are going to do is 24 36. Okay. Big one. Big, big one. Alright, so let's find our GCF of 24 and 36. Remember our freebies, 1 and the number itself. I'm going to use a lot of space for this one because I know 24 has quite a few factors. So I'm going to count up. Can 2 go into it? Yes, it's an even number. 2 times 12. Can 3 go into 24? Yes. 3 times 8. Can 4 go into 24? Yes. 4 times 8. So 
now I'm going to get the factors for 36. I didn't do my spacing so well, so I might go a little bit lower so I can get my rainbow in. Take that freebie, 1 times 36 gets you 36. Can 2 go into it? Yes, 2 can because it's an even number. So I want to ask myself how many times 2 can go into 36. So maybe I'll do a little division off to the side to help me out figure out how many times 2 can go into 36. 2 goes into 3 one time because 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract, get 1. Bring down the 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times. 8 times 2 is 16. So there we go. We get 2 and 18. Can 3 go into it? Yes, 12 times. Can 4 go into 36? Yes. 4 times 9. Can 5? No, it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5, so 5 can't. But 6 can. I just, I just write 6 once, because 6 times 6 is 36. I don't need to repeat that factor. A number that product is the result of the same number multiplied by itself. So, for example, 6 times 6. 6 is multiplied by itself. It's called a square number. So to know that we're listening, you are listening to this video, your first secret message is to draw a tiny square next to the number 36. You can draw it even right here. So if we ask you tomorrow what type of number 36 is, you will know that it's a square number. So let's find our greatest common factor. We don't want to look at 1 just yet. 2 is a common factor, but is it the greatest? We'll find out. 3, 4, they've got quite a few, 6. Not 9, not 8, 12, not 18, not 24, not 36. So I have 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So my greatest one they have in common is 12. Okay. So I divide them both by 12. And again, use your rainbow. 24 divided by 12 is 2. 36 divided by 12 is 3. And look at that. We have an equivalent fraction from that first one we did, 12 18 So 12 18 and 24 36 are equivalent because when simplified, they both equal 2 thirds. So we're going to do one more together before you do it on your own. And your second hidden message, just for fun, because I know a lot of people in um, Mrs. Lally's room and Mrs. Richards always comment on my height. My height is 6 feet 2 inches. So you can write that at the top corner if you want. That way, in the hallway, you don't have to ask me how tall I am anymore because my height is 6 feet 2 inches. So you can write that down. All right, let's do this third one. You guys are pros by now, I'm sure. The last one we are going to do is 21 30th. Now I'm giving you some big numbers. All right, so we'll do 21 and 30. All right, so I get my freebies 1 and 21. Not an even number, so I know that 2 won't go into it. Can 3 go into it? Yes. 3 times 7. Okay. Can 4? No. 5? No. 6? No. And then I'm back to 7. All right, let's get to 30. 1 goes into 30 30 times. 2, yes, it's an even number. 2 times 15 3, yes, goes in 10 times, 3 times 10. 4, no, 5, yes, of course, because it ends in a 0, 5 times 6. So I'm going to find the numbers I have in common. You all want to look at that 1. They have 3 in common, no 7s, no 21. So right there, there's only one number they have in common, it's 3. So I'm going to divide. both numbers by 3. So use your rainbow again. 21 divided by 3. 3 is paired up with 7. That's going to be at least 7. 
and then 3 is paired up with 10. 7 tenths. Okay, now we're going to have you do 5 more at home. So if you want to label it 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. You could also put these on the back. I don't have a lot of space on here because of this screen. The ones you are going to do are 10 fifteenths, 4 twelfths, 8 twentieths, Twelve fortieths, and finally seven ninths. Okay, so remember, make sure you're showing your factor rainbows and circling that greatest common factor. Thank you guys are going to do great on this and good luck. We will see you tomorrow.